you say that you're a Democrat, um, but you're getting a lot of support from a, a lot of leading voices on the right, like Steve Bannon, Tucker Carlson, Alex Jones, former President Donald Trump. Many Democrats fear that you're a spoiler in the race, that you will damage President Biden in the primary and grease the skids for former President Trump to return to the Oval Office. This week, former President Trump said about you, Kennedy is smart and he's a common sense guy. What kind of man do you think Donald Trump is? Well, you know, here's what I'm not going to do in this race. I'm not going to attack other people per personally. I don't think it's good for our country. And I think, you know, what I'm trying to do in this race is bring people together, is to try to bridge the divide between Americans. And guess what? The, you know, when my dad died and we took this train ride from, you know, this seven and a half hour train ride that was supposed to be two hours. I brought his, I was with him when he died in Los Angeles. And then we brought his body from, uh, from New York, Penn Station to Union Station and Washington, D.C. And there were, there were, it was a two and a half hour ride, but it took seven and a half hours because there were two and a half million people on that train track. And, and it was the cross section of America and all of the major urban stations in Trenton, Newark, uh, uh, Wilmington and Baltimore. There were black Americans singing the Battle Hymn of the Republic. There were whites on the, in the rural areas who, love, who are holding up signs, goodbye, Bobby, pray for us, Bobby, American flag, standing, saluting. Four years later, and they had supported my father in the primaries in 1968. Four years later, in 1972, they were not supporting my father, and they were not support. They were not supporting George McGovern, who was aligned with my father on all these issues. Instead, the vast majority of them were supporting George Wallace. And you know, there, my father was able to harness these populist energies. In the last day of his life, he won the most rural state in this country, South Dakota, and the most urban. He was able to bridge the divide among people who would otherwise be Republican, but wanted somebody who was common sense, who was able to appeal to their idealism, who was able to find the hero in each of them, who was able to get them to transcend narrow self-interest and see themselves as part of a community and part of this, you know, incredible American adventure uh, in, in modeling self-governance for the rest of the world. And so I'm proud that President Trump likes me, even though I don't agree with him on most of his issues, I'm, because I don't want to alienate people. I want to bring people together. I'm proud that all these people like me and that I have independent supporters and Democratic supporters. And that I'm able to bring a lot of people, you know, every Democrat says, I want to end the polarization. But how do you do that without talking to people who don't agree with you? How do you do that without appealing to people without the per My purpose is to find the issues, the values that we have in common rather than, you know, focus on the issues and the personalities but that keep us all apart. 